Yeah. <laughs> bad. All right. So this is like one of the strengths of Shulk, right? The second he gets comboed, he has the ability to just switch over to the shield Monado art to land down safe and sound just try to like end combos. Combos are just not safe against Shulk compared to like every yeah, other character in the game. So you gotta be like, it requires you to like mix up your thinking, the way your brain works whenever you like land a combo, Absolutely. Right? And that's always gonna be difficult because Honestly, even if you're looking in this game, right, we do have different combo trees depending on their range, depending on the fastball speed, uh, the percentages, your rage, etc. Right, but usually you have a general philosophy that you can go behind. Not with Shulk, it's going to be extremely difficult because he's going to change your knockback. You know, he's just going to be mitigating those kind of things a lot. You know, even on the reverse side of coin, if you get a hit in, with a smash, right, while he's in smash, not all art, you're also going to have an issue there because that, that knockback is just really far different. Oh my gosh, what a catch! I mean, speed not art. Shulk, probably one of the fastest character in the game compared to like yes, Sonic the Hedgehog. Absolutely. He has better startup than Sonic, but top speed Sonic has more. So that's why he's able to just close that distance so quickly and run off the Is this forward, gets the back didn't, uh, in Smash 4, wasn't his top speed the better than Sonic? No, no, no. Unless it was like Hyper Monado Arts, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But like normal Shulk speed Monado Art was not. Okay. But the normal Monado Arts. Mm. But he has that, he has just such quick like startup compared to Sonic. Oh, absolutely. That yeah. far, yeah. So he's able to just close distances so quickly. Catching these spot Ooh, dodges, that's, that's like the one thing you don't want to be doing against Shulk, man. Is spot sure. dodge, like, it's so easy because that sword takes forever to get out when you middle of the air, right? Like as fast as aerial comes out like in the double digits in frame. Yeah, so you can't reactively spot dodge to that initial movement because by that time you're usually going to get hit on the back end. And also the move is just out for a long duration, man. You know, those hitboxes are active for quite a while. So you have to take that all into consideration when you're going through those kind of defensive options. And you can see the oppression from K9, or from Nico against K9 when he was just trying to like find an opening there. And Nico was just standing still, short hopping, neutral air. Because it's, it's such a big ass sword that like you gotta like wait for your window. But the second you find that opportunity to like break through, that's when you can start to capitalize. Because Shulk in disadvantage, not the greatest unless he has like shield ready to go. Oh, absolutely. You know, or if he's off stage, he's got jumping out already, able to get back on the stage. Like, he, yep. he needs those Monado Arts in order to, like, get out of jail, you know? Yeah, one of the big things when going up against Shulk, you already alluded to this, is the fact that you really, not just for himself, but you also, as his opponent, really have to have Monado Art managed. Right? You have to understand what certain Monado Arts are available at any given point in time, so you know when he can actually break out. Because it's not going to happen every single time. He can't always just go to shield whenever he wants. So once it is done, he does have to find another option to survive. And so you have to be cognizant of that. And yeah, now he's switching over the Smash Monado Art, which is going to increase that knockback against the opponent, as well as his own. That's like the safest art to go for at this little percent on himself. And he's to connect the back here and gets the kill as right. well. But you know what's very interesting, too? A lot of people don't realize, because of how that op move operates, Smash Monaro Art, it's not sa it's unsafe on shield. Oh, yeah. There's, like, no pushback, no yeah. damage on the shield yeah. whatsoever. So you've got to space that, like, most optimally. Right. There's, that, there's actually an opportunity where you forward air K9. And K9 yeah, was, I think absolutely. Was too afraid to but go the thing about it is because a lot of people don't know that information. Yeah. So a lot of times people think that it's going to be the same amount of safety. Now, on the reverse side of the coin, Buster, Buster Monaro Art, <laughs> that is safe. He's going to swing on your shield, and you have to hold all of that. You have to hold all right? of that. It does all so much damage as well, man. 123 has Smash Monaro Art. He's going to be able to go for the gamble. Wow. Forward throw is going to spike. Find the kill, man. And th that's the difference between Shulk from Smash 4 and Ultimate is that his four throw is now the kill throw. Yeah. When it used to be down throw. Down right. throw is more for like the combo damage. Right, now. right, right. So he just got that. He just tossed him. Didn't even see like the little zoom in because I think like he was just tossed. He dude. went flying, man. Good yeah. night. And that, that's, a, that's a strength of Shulk. My man is just explosive. Right. You know, I got Wolf, you know, coming from K9. Looks like he's looking for an answer. I feel like there was just times when K9 felt a little bit maybe too afraid to, like, try to rush him down. Because that's, like, Shulk's weakness. If you rush down Shulk, you can capitalize. And I think Wolf has that capability, even though he's not as fast as, say, like, Fox, you know, his other, like, you know, Spacey's friends. But once he does close that distance, he can, you know, easily start to rack up that damage to get the combo. Like, forward air is all he needs. He even ate the double jump right there. So he could uh, potentially capitalize a little bit more. Nico trying to play conservatively. Doesn't want to waste any of his not arts right out the gate. That could have been a time that Nico won to switch the shield, right? But he, I think right. he wants to save him for, like, a more damaging opportunity. Yeah. Could be conditioning as well, you know. Okay, double dash attack, pushes him off. Ooh. I think he wanted the back air. And honestly, at this point, it, Nico always like likes to play in vanilla at the very beginning of yes. the set. Like he likes to like try to feel out the matchup, oh feel out how the opponent's playing, and then he starts to go for the Monado Wart to try to catch him off guard. Because that speed Monado Wart makes him so freaking quick. Oh yeah. And it, it, it becomes oh, oh god, Warrior's gonna be able to catch through the ledge, manage the two frame, gets back onto the stage safe and sound. Yeah, really good damage there. 
almost lost that stock. Very fortunate. Hannah is now. And just takes it in result. And yeah, I see Nico kind of put his head down there. Definitely not the way he wanted that stock to go, especially when he was in the driver's seat for so long. But we're going to have a swing here, a potential ledge trap. Yes, and forward throw. Classic. Gonna not be able gonna to live. Yet, yeah, no rage. And this will swing. The thing is, I respect Nico for going for that vision because I've never seen Nico go for a counter. Like, Oops. ever. I, don't, I never see that Nico go for a counter. Very, very rare. So, like, it was, it was a good opportunity, but, you know, good response from K9 playing patient. With to come out using the Human Art to be able to get out of that camp combo, a little Gao Jail yep. free card once again. And at this point, you know, K9 could potentially just try to go for these blasts a little bit more often, like, right. in the background. Like, it, it's okay to play a little bit more conservative in that regard. Right. Once you find that opening. Try to get that push, but I know speed matter work. So that's something you don't want to use blaster against because he can close that distance. Yeah, so quickly. Oh okay. my gosh! Right idea on that roll, but we're not gonna get it. Trying to back air war. Yeah, he's gonna space that one out. Oh, I love that run on shield. Goes for us mask. Not gonna catch. And this stock still hasn't dropped. This is a ledge trap. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna hold on to that ledge for that long, like Shulk has the ability to just catch with that forward air, catch Ooh. your little pinky tips. Yep. He caught, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's, that's gonna be illegal soon, man. Yeah, man. You heard about Thank that? Thank goodness. Yeah, uh, honestly, yeah. Yeah, yeah safe cat's club, man. Absolutely. All right, here we go. 152 on Nico. Oh, up tilts? Okay. Right, both times, he had the right idea. He knew that Nico was gonna roll onto the stage, but just a hair too slow each, each time. All right. Oh, man. Able to come out so of much damage with these traps. 40% extra damage with Buster Manado Ward. It's disgusting. Yeah, he's a cat. Smash Manado Ward? Oh, he thought he was gonna recover low. Catches him with the air splash. Has tons of range on it. Yeah, I love that air slash too that he did right there to close the spot. I mean, not close the spot rather, but just to catch him on the side of that recovery. And that's the one moment where Wolf is actually not that safe to go for a blaster against Steve Manor. Right? Right. Just jump over that and punish you from like across the stage. Sure. Okay, gonna go for Shield Manor to just try to hold on to his stock. I mean, that, that's a good opportunity when your opponent's invincible. Yeah. Might as well just throw it out there. Oh, it's, it's very, very good. And the thing about it too is good ooh, punish from K9. What that's a catch. Really, that's, that's difficult because you can get caught by the air slash, but he spaced that really well. Yeah. And I'm very, like, that's very, very solid because in that situation, he really needed to go for that. Because, again, like you were saying, Speed Monano Art is actually so good at uh, when people come down from the Angel platform and they have that invincibility. Because you literally can just run away from them, and in the moment it dips off, you run back in their face and just do mad damage. Yes. And so I love that he's able to uh, take out that stock before it actually was a roller coaster. So, really good stuff there. Sometimes you've got to stifle that momentum, and you can't let it rock, especially against a character like Shaw that can do so much damage. And just you get some crazy kind of kill options very, very quickly, depending on the uh, Monado art, man. Yeah, and I, I, it was kind of weird that he went for Smash Monado art that pretty early. He was at 52%. He had to land like a Smash attack or try to get the kill. Yeah, this is what he was trying to go for, I think. Right, yeah. I mean, I, I think at that point, he felt like he had read a lot of the options that we seen from K9, and he thought he had a, a bet there. So he took a bet, and it didn't work out. I still do the damage here pretty good. Oh, and swing. Yes, that's going to be it. Being off stage against Shulk, that's oppressive, dog. Like you, it is tough. Yes, and now to get back. That is twice now that we've seen that from him, where he's recognized once he dips into the situation where he is past the side B uh, recovery angle or the safe side B recovery. K9 is usually going to go for up B, and literally he can go dip down or do it from an angle. He still can get hit by that runoff there. It's that consistent in that situation. It is very, very hard for Wolf to recover once he gets in that area because of Shulk and that unique range of that fair. And that could be why Cannon opted to go for Lucina this time around. You know, she has a way better recovery than uh, Wolf. It's way less exploitable because uh, the up B is just so quick. Yeah. She has to go on to the ledge as fast as possible. Also, this gives uh, Cannon a little bit of an ability to just kind of like have a sword to compete with Shulk's yeah. big sword. It's not as big as Shulk's, but it's way quicker. Than right. Shulk's, and that's what's important. So it gives him a little bit more range to play with. It'd be a little bit tougher for uh, Nico to try to go with that, but the backslash, get back on onto the stage. It's a new gimmick in Smash Ultimate compared to the last yes. one. Easily just catch on the ledge. Do from high enough angle. Right. Ooh, going super. Oh, oh no, he the reversal. Oh. I mean, that's super unsafe to go for. And Nico's going to capitalize on it. And I get why can't I do that. I think he ends up feeling like he needs to go for a power play to try to just like steal momentum because he's down two to zero. Oh, it's a big deficit. But I think, I mean, I think the most important thing to do is just play it calm and collective. There he goes. He gets a read on the roll. Unfortunately for him, he had shield out of war, so he yeah. didn't get anything off of it. No damage, no knockback, no nothing. Yeah. Dancing blade. Okay. Opportunity here. Can he keep him at this ledge? Yeah. And the pressure. And on jumping out of war, he does take the most amount of damage. Yeah. Uh, Shulk does. Yep. But at this point, it doesn't matter. He just needs, like, one solid, like, F-tilt, forward, back air, like, it's forward smash even. Yeah. I mean... Definitely, probably a back air to counteract this. Oh my gosh, and you are dead. 
so that was a good call out from Miko. He recognized that Kanan was going to go for a really early recovery with that up B. Catches him trying to go above the ledge. So it's like, it's all about mixing it up with your Dolphin Slash and try to outspace that forward air. So the forward air is a commitment from Shul. Yeah, and the thing about it is, but in that kind of situation, that's that's a swing that's like very non committal, right? Like it was yeah. a good time where he's like, he's like, all right, I know if you mess up here, you are gone. Yeah. Put on that Smash Monado art and what swung that fair, and of course that fair is going to be able to cover right at the end. Most of the Fire Emblem characters actually do not auto snap, and so because of that, they will get easily sliced up there. So really, really good play there by Nico. You saw K9, he recognized that Nico was in shield under us, so he just ran away. He's like, I'm not even going to try to fight this. Wait for it to wear off. Nico turned it off, ran up there, got the grab, finally took him with the up throw, and he's at that high a percent. But oh, he had just the roll forward smash. That's going to be a 3 0 victory. Yeah. Going for your boy Nico. Oof. Like, I think the Shulk is looking incredibly strong. Like, he, yeah. uh, not, not a surprise at all, man. Yeah. Like, Nico's been on a tear here. Yeah, it's crazy because it's always interesting watching those two play. Mm -hmm. 